ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel and today we are going to play kingdom come deliverance part 3 so if you haven't seen part 1 or part 2 go back in my channel and look up the videos it is really important you need the background story up to now to get the history uh, so don't you start oh well That is all my things. Ancient map. Just take them all. That is what I got from uh, looting all the corpses. Okay, so I got all the things. Needs to. Maybe this one. But it's, it's bad shape, so a bit stupid for us to actually take it all. Oh, that's good. We got this one. Is this bad? We found out. Good. Maybe we should take some food with us. Okay. Uh, I don't know where our sword is. Did we really take all the things? Can we go up there? really need the lockpick so we have just been um, beat up by some thieves and Teresha she saved us and all is well and so on uh, we need to didn't we need to talk with the man he isn't here and where are we now oh we are a new place my name's Henry Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. Oh. <laughs> she took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. Can I just give you the And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Of course. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. 
Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Mm -hmm. Do corpses bother you? Mm -hmm. No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. <laughs> that fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. Oh, if there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just oh, mean the dogs. Thank you for You can the just throw detail. them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Oh, I got a snap potion. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. So first... Yeah, I need to get a spade. Uh, but I also need to go around the city and look for... There's a big city in here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we can do. A trader. That's good. We need to sell our things. We have a lot, a lot of things. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Okay, now we know. What's life like in Ratai? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns have that. And we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armorer. We got a beautiful church and fine alehouses. Oh, that's good. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Mm, yeah, it's a rough attack. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wild tales, but I heard truly terrible things. Okay, now we know. The background story is good. Let's trade. Let's sell some things. No, we don't want to sell age. We definitely want to sell our axes. And we keep the ring just for now. Doesn't feel anything zero, so just to remember. This one is really 
Arkley. I guess this is crime meat is good to have. This is almost done. Sell this one. Uh, we have the new one, so we doesn't need this one. Panties, yeah. Pork roll to error. Better than nothing. Salt, we're gonna need that. Yeah. What could we buy? Nah. Let's just close the deal. Oh, that's the dog. Isn't it? No, I don't know. I think he's the one we need to talk with. Milan. Let's see what he has to offer. A job for us to complete, mate. To complete. My respects to you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. All right, let's fight then, let's if you fight. think you can take me. Hold your horses, laddie. First, you have to prove you're a worthy opponent for me by beating two other regular brawlers, Stephen and a fellow they call Ringlet. Okay. So we can also fight people. So we need to beat those two and then beat him and then. Oh yeah. Fine, 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 fine. It's good to get some quests on the map. And this time we go here and we need to dig some. Oh, we need a. Uh, Really? So actually we, we need to go into town first. But how do we get in? Oh we are on the right track, so that, that that that's fine. Are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, I'm son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I want to I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Thvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Because you're a bitch. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. Really? Holy moly. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Oh, oh, 
How many are we going to go through? Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalit. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? <laughs> Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. Yeah. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. Sure. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Was it uh, sarcastic or... They mean it? Ah, good horse. So I guess we're going upstairs. More of this, I guess. Okay. Hello, uh, town's woman. <laughs> I don't know why I pressed. Loading screen, please. I should really think about who I'm talking talking to. Yeah. Is this private? Oh. I don't know where to go, man. Oh, I can come up now. Please don't say it's... Okay, okay. I hate when it's a uh, private area because then the soldiers come in and say, oh, What are you doing, man? And I don't know what they're doing. I'm just running around. Just Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness, that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep shit. Deep fucking shit. Fucking Don't shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. <laughs> but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't Sir like Hans to speak Hanush. ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? Oh, shut the and what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits, 
There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. I don't know. His to give him his so due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Because Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I have to bury my parents. And to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> Your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. Uh, <laughs> they deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? <laughs> the girl. miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, <laughs> it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. Oh, shut the that fuck up. That means purgatory me. for them. Be quiet, Friar. I didn't invite you Friar. here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. <laughs> if there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. Yeah. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may. Sure. Why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. <laughs> Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? <laughs> no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy? Disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Yeah, true. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? <laughs> Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes. 
I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. <laughs> I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't it disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always spear. complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. Yeah, but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the me. bailiff. Yes, sir. Oh, and he feels... don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Nobility. Yeah, I learned something there. Ah, yeah, I, I like the the voices and the acting and <laughs> the sentence they are actually saying. It's pretty funny and entertaining. New level, you reach new level. Can I actually use? I, I'm level four. That's good. Oh, so I can choose or what? Oh, I can learn the perk. Uh, hmm. Being a grave digger or stronghold, I can't see what this gonna be. What is a stronghold? Just take this. Oh, I have two perks to learn. Insomaniac. Oh, I can read the skills. Oh, I okay. So, what have I chosen here? Blocking enemy blows will cost you. When dirty, you will have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell your mile, or mile reducing your stuff. What the hell, man? It's like perks, you do this and you get this. Grow up and have no condition to comfort others. The worse bed, the better you sleep. <laughs> okay, so when it's really good, uh, I need to live in a castle. I need to sleep on the floor because then I sleep better. Increase the time you do, increase the time you can do. With our sleep, your energy level falls one quarter slowly. Yeah. I guess this one is good.
And I will save the others for later, maybe? I don't know. How many do I have in this? I have zero. What if I take these two? Can I take the perks off? Like, you know. So I need to choose what kind of, of man I am uh, already. If I want the high bone or low bone, mm. it's gonna be hard to choose actually. I think I will wait to use my skills. Train hard, fight easy. Quest tips. That's a weapon smith. Does someone need some money or so? How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. So you couldn't give her money or... I don't know where the trade traits are. To you. What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burnt to ashes by sickness and sword. Give me 
murderers took everything I had. God be with you. Aren't you Ringlet? Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. Mm -hmm. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of it? You're not living in the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, and you can pass it on to us that need it. If you want to fight me, you dandy, then pay up. <laughs> fuck off. You can fuck off. I want nothing from you. I'm not done with you yet. Well, I hope you've got coin. Otherwise you can fuck off, you hit. It's a uh, part of the mission. I don't know what it gets me if something is bad or not. Fast postures. Oh yeah. Bitches. You need to watch out. Keep a distance. Fast punch. Fast punches and then a kick. Got him in the corner. Right. Okay, let's relax. And oh my god. Okay, so. Fast punches. Fast punches. One, two, one, two. Oh, I didn't make it. Fast punches. One, two, one, two. Oh, I actually get a lot of strength up. That's good. <laughs> Sorry to say it. <laughs> oh, it's actually really good, you can actually see when you got hit. Oh. <laughs> Bits, please. Can at least fast travel. Let's first see what stars is about, so we know it in the future, of course. Eh? Uh, how it is in there, maybe. Certainly, I'll set the right Good day to you. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. So, oh, okay. 
Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Aye, there could be something for you. Berthold, our local gamekeeper, was looking for help with something a while back. Oh. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Let's see what, how many we have. We have some. Okay. Quest giver. Okay, let's just go over to the sea, and then we just gonna see how it goes. You're Stephen, aren't you? Stephen. Milan gonna tells me he won't him. fight me until I beat you. Oh yeah? Then why would you want to? Well, never mind. I'll fight you if you pay me. What do you say? It's too groschen. Then we can fight him and then we're going to do the thing we need to do. Fight. Oh yeah. He's a bit uh, faster to actually block. You need to watch out for my stamina though. I got him good there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You're gonna call me daddy when I finish with you. Oh, damn. Call me daddy and. I will spare you. Hey, hey. them transport fast travel Now we can't leave fight that bastard. We should get more money than we use, right? I hope so. And what do we gain from it? Like the big beater? <laughs> Let's fight, Let's man. Fight. Let's fight. You gave those two a pretty good hiding. And I made a grosh and a two in bets. You scallops fellows are good for my purse. Why do I need p to pay people to actually beat them? <laughs> what, what is this game? I thought you... <laughs> oh, he's the f fighter one. He's a bit tougher, I must say. Got him. <laughs> ah, how did he get him? Oh, he's playing that game. Hey, hey, I got you. That was a bit awkward. You'll get one more. You couldn't kick me. Why do you keep doing that? Oof. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I got some strength in me. Oh, it's really hard. Please don't do that, thanks. Oh, please. Ow. Okay, he's a bit fast. Missed. I hit him. How do you do that? Uh, he's almost down. Fighting the Nah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it's really good to fight. I actually get my things open. Haha. Oh. Uh -huh. You thought I was parrying? <laughs> okay, okay, I need. Uh, no, no. I don't know what to do now. Just slew him out. Fighting in the dark. Jesus. You're Jesus, man. Move away. Ow. Really? <laughs> How do I block things? Yes! Hoo, hoo, hoo. I beat that piece of shit. Yeah. I can teabag you. Mm. 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 Okay. Oh, that was uh, <laughs> a close one. Uh, what does the stats mean? I need to eat something? Or do I need to bandage myself? Okay, 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 okay. Something float.
we want. We want the big fight, and that is the important thing. Where can I sleep? I can't just sleep somewhere, can I? A place Have to you got sleep. Bed for the night? Thank you. All right. Thank you. For how long? <laughs> one day, thank you. Just the one night? Sure, but let's see your coin first. <sighs> These are harsh times. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? Satisfied? That's not enough. What? <laughs> okay, we got. You'll like it here, like sleeping on a cloud. It is. Yeah, right. Where do I go to sleep? On the upper floor of the inn. There's steps up to it outside. Yeah, the middle the room is yours. Thanks God, a bet. Uh, sleep. Thank you. Thank you. I need to. Um, yeah, five hours. Let's get trained up. Trained to be a killer. What do I need to do? Is it him I need to talk to? Excuse me? No, it's just tell me. What do I need to do? But he's not there. Why is he? Finally, let's see what he got installed for us. I feel like he's. I'll be with you. A bit annoyed about us. Basic I'm here for train. training. Oh. Yes, hear that boy, Sir Radzik said. Yeah. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Don't uh, need to be bold. Because them. you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. That will do. 
Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's okay. try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Nice. What are you waiting for? All right. Very good. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Now, I get. No. I just keep I... doing that. Wrong. Oh, I need to. <laughs> ah. Good. I didn't see that. Go. Very well then. Oh. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Shit! Oh, oh, he's he's attacking him pretty hard. Uh. Good strike. Damn, he's hard. Fine enough. But you're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Ugh. Well done. Not bad. Ah, ah, that's it. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I yeah. cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Oh, the slow motion thing. Mm. Damn. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. <coughs> no, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Uh, too soon again. Ow. Well done. Oh, I can see it actually. Good. But I can't attack after like he did. Ow. Ah, that's it. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Yeah, I know, I know. Very good. Ah. Oh. 
Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate okay. and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Nice. It's still slow, so. Nice. Ah, it's too late. Ow. Ow. Nice. Ow. Well done. Oof. Not bad. Oh. Ah. What the hell? Now he's going fast. Captain Bernard. Uh. Wait a while, Henry. I get some beat ass. Is <laughs> you need to really to focus. Greetings, oh. Rahan. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sarabs with this scene with death. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? Is it a this? I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. He spit an eye. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, yeah. attack, and I'll show you. <laughs> it looks funny when. <laughs> All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Oh, but I did well that before. Ow. Ah. No, not like that. Ow. I, I do that again. Wrong again. Ow. I don't understand. I, no, I'm that's doing not it. it. Oh, I don't yeah, need to hold it. space in. Space in. Ah. Fine. I just need now to. Try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Ah, that's it. Really? I tried to. Good. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Well done. Nice and the last thing fast. for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike. So I don't have time to react. All right. All right. Ah, that's it. Oh, so you hold it. Okay. Very good. Nice. Well now. That wasn't too bad. 
Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. Me cocky. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. Sir Razik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Okay. I will come with you. Oh, I can tackle him. Really? Come on, how long does it take? How long does it take for you to come to archery? Hello. 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 No, oh, it is in here. Mm -hmm. Game is saved. Now we know. And I have discovered a blacksmith. That's good. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Ugh, now concentrate. Bow ain't I'm exactly to get the hungry. weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Aim and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Ugh, Shoot away. To get something to eat. You have starting to get hungry. The arrow drops Let's quickly. do this. Once you've Let's... trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Can I not move? That flew nicely. Practice for a while. No nonsense. Let's do this. I'm not surprised that a girl had to save your art. <laughs> I got this. It's a bit harder than it was in in beta. Well, that was arrows. awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? I well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Really? I feel quite... Uh... Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for it, but uh, we can try. Hey, I got one. Really? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Damn. I won. Henry won the game. Can't beat me. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. Mm. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? Really? You like? Really? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Yeah. Excellent. Then let's go. Damn. And I'm also hungry. It's not good. I don't be die. This won't take. Already? Really? That was, um, uh, really. Well, you got the better of me this time, Blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Bye. So, I will end this uh, episode, part three. If you haven't seen part one and part two, go back to my channel and check it out. It's really good. And some good story. Background story. It's good to know if you want to keep on the series. And yeah. Hope you liked the video, hope you liked my commentary. I hadn't talked really much in the video because of the history and so many things we need to learn about the backstory and and the situation we are in. But um, it did end well, so I hope you like it and see you in next game, right?